Sister Christ, y'all. Thank the Lord. I went back to sleep and got me some rest. But let me tell y'all. This morning, the Lord got me at 3 o'clock in the morning, right? He gave me this song. But I ain't want to give it to y'all because I want to make sure. It's by Twister. And you know, it's by uh, Kanye West and Jamie Foxx. I want some Marvin Gaye. A little bit of some uh, Luther Van draws a little Vanita so we can get this party off right. Well, well, she, you know that song. I'm gonna put that song in, y'all. So when the Lord gave me to my idols and and uh, <laughs> idols and He the true Lord and talk about harlots, how they doing making on these nation turn um having harlots. Yeah, the Lord gave me this song. I'm put the lyrics at the bottom for y'all. And you know all these, they, uh, the idols, when the Lord talking about they uh, worship these idols. And every name, the uh, artist in his idol, Michael Jackson, Luther Vandross, Anita, Baker. And then it's, it's talking about Hawtree because in the way it is, uh, twisting them, they sing it. And Jamie Foxx and them because they want to wind and down the woman. Hawtree. Sex. <coughs> <coughs> And you should see how they talking and smoothing the girl. Just how the Lord say Satan doing. Harlotry. Smooth talker. Smooth talking to people. I'm going to put them lyrics. Because I, I I was trying to look for the song that had the lyrics on it. But I couldn't find it. But I got the lyrics off the uh, off the, uh, the internet. And I put the song together so I could read what they were saying. Because you know Twister be talking fast y'all. But yeah, and the Lord said, all these are like idols. They idols. How people's idolizing. Luther Vandross, Marvin Gaye, uh, Michael Jackson. He said, she got a light skin friend, look like Michael Jackson. Got a dark skin friend, look like Michael Jackson. Y'all, the Lord be talking so much. I'm like, I ain't hear that song so long. Woke up this morning with that song, but I was like, I ain't, you know. I got to pray on it and get to talk to the Lord first. And then he gave me this. And had me look at the lyrics. He was talking about this morning. Idols. Harlotry. Abomination. Desolation. He told about these are idols. And this is how the harlotry is. Winding down. Smooth talking, y'all. I'm going to put that song and them lyrics down now. So y'all can see it. So I'm going to do the song separate. Then I'm going to try to post the lyrics at the bottom so y'all can read it. Or if I can go to that app, I mean not the app, to the um copy the link and put it on there, you know, to the uh internet. Yeah, I was wondering what that song was. I'm like, why I got up with this at three something in the morning? A little van draws, a little Anita, so we can get this party off right. Harlotry. Wine and dime. Lord told us so much, y'all only gave me that song. Oh, and then let me tell y'all one of my dreams I had. I was with this woman. I ain't gonna say I was with her, but you know how you see people? Probably could say I was with her. I don't know. I, I've just seen, you know, I just see it. And it was all these big these doors. And they was shaped like this. You know, the round doors are shaped like this. So it was one door taller. And you know they was going down small and small and small to a small little door. But they all shaped the same. And in the door, she was carving in these images like holes. Little small holes was inside the door. And, and inside the door while she was pushing pushing in there was Disney Channel. You know how the, the Mickey Mouse head? She was pushing in pushing them inside the door. And she got to she she succeeded so much and then when she got to the bottom, the small door, about this small, she tried to put that symbol in there, but it couldn't fit. So she was trying to plow it into that, into that door. Let me get a pen so I can show y'all what I'm looking for. Okay, it was like this, if y'all can see. I don't know if y'all Look at that. There were doors. They were made like that. They had little holes in them. And it went from big to small. Went down. It was a big one like that. Then it stopped going down to a medium size. So it stopped getting smaller and smaller. You know how like Allison went to land? When she went to that land and then the house got that small? This is how it was. But then in each one of those little boxes like this, she was trying to push push that, um, that Disney Channel symbol in there. And, and she got to the small door and it wasn't fit and she was trying to plow it in there. So something going on with Disney Channel, y'all. The Lord, many doors opening through this Disney Channel thing. It was a woman. No, she probably was a witch. You know, all, all I said was a woman. 
I wasn't there, but you know how you have a dream and you see people doing it, so you feel like you're there. So she was doing this. I seen a big door, big door. It was a big door, medium side. It kept getting smaller and smaller, and it had a square in there, like this. And she was trying to apply that Disney Channel symbol, the head, like Mickey Mouse head, the symbol, up inside the doors. And she succeeded until she got to the smallest door, and it wouldn't fit. And so she started plowing it in there. Y'all, God speaking so much, but Disney Channel. So I'm going to look into what's going on with Disney Channel. Y'all know it with our kids. Opening many doors. They play on many doors with this Disney Channel stuff, y'all. God speaking so much. And I'm going to put that song, y'all. The Lord be talking. And so, y'all, this morning, the Lord gave us talking about idols. Judgment. Now he got me into Isaiah. Let me put this up a little bit. He got me in Isaiah. And it's talking about salvation, y'all. Because, you know, the Lord be telling us about our salvation. We have salvation with the Lord, but it's up to you give us free will. And people feel like, you know, you backslide and you think you still ain't, you can't go to the Lord. Yes, you can. Your salvation still in with the Lord, but he was calling out backsliders. He calling people to come to him. <laughs> Y'all, so much of the Lord. So let's go. He gave me in Isaiah 61. And it's talking about salvation. You know, we just thank the Lord. And for uh, the most high, for having his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us. Who, who died, excuse me. Who got crucified on the cross. Died for our sins, child. To forgive, forgive us for our sins. Excuse me, y'all. Time to get the little hiccup. So let's go to Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to teach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to, to, to the captives, and the opening of the prisons to those who are, who are bound. <coughs> Look. The opening of the prisoners uh, to those who are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Year of the Lord. Tell y'all, Lord, tell me 2022 is repentance, y'all. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To counsel those who, who mourn in Zion. He gave me, y'all, later on I'm going to have to come something. He gave me something about Zion twice, y'all. So I'm going to be back. The mourns of Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. And garment of praises for the spirit of heaviness. That they may, that they may be called trees of righteousness. Here we're talking about trees y'all again. This is in Isaiah. The planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. And they, and they shall rebuild the old ruins. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. You're talking about desolation of many generations, y'all. Strangers shall, shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the and the sons of the foreigners shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But you shall be named the priest of the Lord. They shall call you the servant of, of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. And in their glory you should boast. Instead of your shame, you should have double honor. And instead of your uh, confusion, they should rejoice in their pro in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess double. Everlasting joy should be theirs. For I the Lord Lord love justice. I hate robbery for burnt offering. I will direct their works in truth, and will make them an everlasting covenant. Their descendants shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offsprings among the people. All who see them shall acknowledge them, for they are the posterity, posterity whom the Lord hath blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, and the bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, and the bride adores himself with, jewel, with, her, with her jewels. For the earth brings forth the bud, and the garden causes the things that are <laughs> that are sown in the offspring forth. So the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to the to spring forth uh, before all the nations. Because you know also the Lord was talking about with idols and stuff. With the enemies. He said he's going to strip them of their garments. And then uh, um, I mean, then would they something with them with their ornaments. But look at the Lord talking about salvation. When you come to the Lord. He telling us right now. Like the other day. He's saying blessings and curses. Blessings for obedience. Curses for disobedience. But this is salvation. And talking about his people. 
Salvation in the Lord. Okay, y'all. Let me see what else he gave me. 62. Excuse me, y'all. I ain't come with that. Okay, he gave me Isaiah 62. I mean, 61. Then he had me to go to Isaiah 63. And this talk about the Lord and judgment and, and salvation. See, judgment and salvation. So the Lord telling us both. Look at that. Who is this who comes from Edom? Tell my Edom. With dry garments from Basra. This one who is glorious in his appeals, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Talking about the Lord. I who speak in righteousness, might to, mighty to save. Why is your appeal red? And your garments like one who treads into winepress. I have a, a trod, I have trod, trodden the winepress alone. And from the peoples no one was with me. For I have trodden them in my anger. And trampled them in my fury. Their blood is sprinkled upon my garments. And have stained all my robes. Lord, talk about judgment. Talk about this robe of blood. Told you he's give you salvation and judgment. And this is Isaiah. He don't gave me. Still talking about the same thing, y'all. Lord, steady speaking. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. And the year of my re and the year of my redeem has come. Talking about year again. He gave us a 61. Talking about the year. Isaiah 61, it says it too, to proclaim the acceptance year of the Lord. He talking about salvation. Now he got me in Isaiah 63, talking about the year. In Isaiah 63, 4, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem, redeemed has come. I looked, but there was no one to help, and I wondered, and there was no one to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation to, for me, and my own fury is sustained, has and my own fury, it sustained me. I have trodden down people in my anger. Made them drunk in my fury. I brought down their strength to the earth. I will mention I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord. And the praises of the Lord. According to all that the Lord has bestowed on us. And the great goodness towards the house of Israel. Which he has bestowed on, a, on them according to his mercies. According to his multitude. And his loving kindness. For he said, surely they are my people, children who do not lie. So he became their savior, their savior. In all their affliction, he was, afflict, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them. So I told you, Lord, say, you want all the judgment and stuff going on? He's still going to save his people, y'all. He want people to repent and come to him. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and his and his in his pity, he redeemed them, and he bore them and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and grieved his holy spirit. So he turned himself against them as an enemy, and he fought against them. <coughs> Lord, then he remembered the days of old. Moses and his people saying, "Where is he who brought them out of the sea, with the shepherd of his flock?" Where is he who put his Holy Spirit within them? Who led them in the right hands of Moses? Talking about Moses in Egypt. And we in Israel. I mean in Isaiah. Y'all. With his glorious arms. Dividing the water before them to make himself everlasting an everlasting name. Who led them through the deep as the horses of the wilderness. As a horse in the wilderness. That they might not stumble. As a beast goes down into the valley. And the spirit of the Lord calls him to rest. So you lead your people to make yourself glorious names. Look down from heavens. And see what you're from your inhabitation. Holy and glorious. Were your zeal. And your strength. Talking about the Lord. The yearning of your heart. And your mercies towards me. Are they restrained? Doubtless, doubtless, you are your, you are our fathers. <laughs> doubtless, you are our father. Through Abraham was, though Abraham was ignorant of us, and Israel, and Israel does not acknowledge us. You, O Lord, are our father, our redeemer from everlasting. In your name, O Lord, why have you made us astray from your ways? 
and harden your heart from your fears. Return to your servants' sake and tribe of your inheritance. Your holy people have possessed it, but a little, but a little while. Our adversaries has trodden down your sanctuary. We have become like those of old, of, uh, over whom you never ruled those who were never called by your name. But you know what? The Lord got me in there to my God's mercy. Remember, He bringing people to remembrance. What Abraham did, I mean, not Abraham, but Moses, brought him to the wilderness. I want to say, people ain't grateful. They complaining. Talking about, oh, Lord, I didn't, you, you had free will. You had a choice. He had Moses to go through and get the people through the wilderness. That man, the sacrifice, the sacrifices like to bring these people through the wilderness. And went back, right back to the same thing. Went back to Egypt. And that was God says mercy. It was remember. God's mercy was remember. He gave us mercy. That's why I say people, and then that was God said people still gonna be they're gonna be mad until they till, till he come back. Because they're gonna steady, they wanna find somebody to always blame. Blame the Lord. But he you got free will. Y'all God and he didn't tell my Moses in the wilderness. Okay, y'all, let's go to he gave me Isaiah 64. Oh, that you would rend, oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountain might shake you, shake at your presence, and the fire burns brushwood, brushwood, as fire causes water to boil. Tell my fire, y'all, again, to make your name known to your adversaries, that the nations may tremble at your presence, when you did, did awesome things for which we did not look. You came down. See, down knowledge. The mountains shook at your presence. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, nor have the eyes have seen, nor has the eyes seen any good any God besides you. Who act for the one who wants who waits for him? <coughs> you meet him. You meet him who rejoices and does righteousness. Who remember you in your ways. You are indeed angry for we have sinned. In these ways we continue and we need to be saved. But we are all like an unclean, but we are all like an unclean thing. And all of our righteousness are like filthy rags. We all fade as a leaf. And our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. And there is no one who calls on your name. Who strives? Who stirs himself up to be to? Who stirs himself up to take hold of you? For you have hidden your face from us and have consumed us because of our iniquities. But now, Lord, you are you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our powder. And we are, and all we have. To, hold on, and all we are, the work of your hands. Do not be furious, O Lord, nor remember iniquity forever. Indeed, please look. We all are your people. Your holy cities are a, your holy cities are a wilderness. Zion is a wilderness. Jerusalem is desolate. Our holy and beautiful temple, where our fathers praise you, is burned up with fire, and all our pleasant things are laid waste. Will you restrain yourself before these um, because of these things, O Lord? Will you hold your peace and afflict us uh, very se severely? Then the Lord gave me right here. 65. That's the last one, y'all. It's talking about the righteousness of God's judgment. That's why I said people doing stuff out there, you think, ain't thinking there ain't no consequences. But God didn't even remember of his grace. He done gave you. Gave people chances. People think they can see and keep on doing it. Ain't no consequences going to come along with it. Okay, let's go, y'all. I was sought by those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. I said, here I am, here I am, to a nation that was not called by my name. Look at the Lord. I have stretched out my hands all day long to the rebellious people who walked in, in a way that is not good according to their own thoughts. See, they were playing with the Lord. Doing sin and still playing with the Lord, but the Lord telling them right now. I even had my hand out. The Lord said, I was, 
I was sought by those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. See, people, he able to be found. I said, here I am, here I am to a nation that was not called by my name. I have stretched out my hands all day long to a rebellious people who walked in a way that is not good according to their own thoughts. A people who provoke me to anger continuously to my face, who sacrifice in who sacrifice in gardens and burn incense of altars of, of brick, who sit among the graves and spend the nights in their tombs, who eat swine flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels, who says, "Keep to yourself, do not come near to me, for I am holier than you." These, these are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all all the day. Behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silent, but I will repay, even repay it to my bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, said the Lord, who have burned incense on the mountains and blasphemed me on the hills. Therefore, I will measure their former work into their bosom. Thus said the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one says, do not destroy it, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake. That for his servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all, I will bring forth dis descendants from Jacob and from Judah, all in my from, and from Judah and hero of my mountains. My elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell in shall dwell there. Sharon shall be fold fold of flocks. Sharon should, shall be a fold of flocks in the valley of anchor of place, <clears throat> a place for her, hers to lie down, for my people who have sought me. But you are those who forsake the Lord, who forgot my holy mountain, who prepared a table of gag, and who furnished drinks offered to me, to many. Therefore I will number you for the, for the sword, and you shall all bow down to slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and choose that is which is I, I do not delight. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Tom I'm hungry. Look at the Lord. Tell you the disobedient and obedience. The one who have followed the Lord and who ain't followed the Lord. Like I said, he said free will. He was calling people back. He said, Behold, my servants, servants with edge shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy, uh, sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry sorrow of heart, and well for grief of spirit to my grief, and shall leave your name as a curse to my chosen. To my curse, for the Lord God will slay you, and call his servants by another name. So that he blesses himself, so that he who blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in God, in God and in in God of truth. And he should, and he who swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the formal troubles are forgotten, and because they are hidden from my eyes. For behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered to me anymore. He talking about when he come, the world come to an end. He, gonna, he giving this people help. That's why I say people don't want to talk about hell and earth. I mean, hell, hell, uh, heaven and hell no more. They don't want to talk about the consequences they got to do to go to hell. Everybody think that they do what they want to go to heaven. No, you not. He said, behold, I created, create a new heaven and a new earth. And the former shall be not remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever that forever in what I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem as a rejoicing, and her people are joy. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. The voice of weeping shall no longer be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. New, new heaven, new earth. No more shall, shall an infant from their from their live but a few days, nor an old man who has not fulfill his days for the children shall die 100 years old look at that but the sinners being 100 years old shall be a curse they shall build houses inhabitants and inhabit there they shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit they shall not build another and, and another in, inhabit they shall not they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat 
For as the days of a tree, of a tree, so shall the days of my people. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth children for trouble. For they shall be the descendants of the blessed of the, of the Lord. And their offsprings will be there. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like oxen. And the dust shall be, serp shall be serpent's food. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, said the Lord. And he said the dust should be like serpent food. Look at the Lord. Tell our promises. That's why I say like he tell us about Lot. Destroy Lot. Sodom and Gomorrah. Noah. So he telling everybody right now. Still, when, when he get through destroying the earth, judgment is still coming. Where he got his place for his people. And he got a place for the other ones. Where they going to go? That's why God say repentance. Y'all be blessing in Jesus' name. I know the Lord gave me something about Zion, y'all. You give it back to me. Y'all be blessing in Jesus' name. No, things will never be the same. Worship glorify his holy name. Um, yeah, and I'm going to put that song at the bottom, y'all, too. Y'all know our father, he, he, he used what's familiar to you. And he talked to you about it. So, talk to you about it. So, I'm going to put that song at the bottom, y'all, and those lyrics. So, y'all can read it. I just couldn't do nothing but laugh. Because the Lord just got to telling me. I'm like, Lord. And I'm about that dream, y'all. Lord, just steady speaking. Keep y'all trust in the Lord, y'all. Don't do, don't get weary in doing good. Continue to hold, hold fastens, and be obedient to the Lord, y'all. Y'all be blessed.